If it were a book, this story would be a real page turner. The controversy is brewing over something called a little free library. And Haley Harrison tells us it has the city of Leewood at odds with a nine year old boy. Haley? Well, it is essentially a communal bookshelf in someone's front yard. And it is something that Spencer Collins was very proud of until today when the city forced his parents to take it out of their yard. Spencer Collins doesn't just dive into a book, he swims through its pages. It's kind of like I'm in a whole other world, and I like that. And I love adventure stories because I'm kind of in the adventure, and it's fun. But when this avid reader wanted to share his passion with others through a little free library, these two sections were for like adult and chapter books. He got a dose of civic literacy. We came home from vacation. Um, there was a letter from the city of Leewood saying that it was in code violation and that it needed to be down by the 19th or we would receive a citation. Folks at City Hall say two complaints came in about the Collins Little Library, illegal because it is a detached structure in their front yard. So Wednesday, the public bookshelf moved to the garage. We need to treat everybody the same. So we can't just say, oh, somebody files a complaint, but we like the little um, libraries. We think they're cute, so we ignore it. We can't do that. I don't like it. This soon to be fourth grader is well, now thinking because... outside the box. So I thought, why not get, just get a rope and attach it to our house in the library? He's also reading up on city codes, preparing to soon make his case before Leewood's decision makers. I would tell them like why it's good to the community and why they should like drop the law. In Leewood, Haley Harrison, KMBC 9 News. Yeah. Spencer hasn't decided which upcoming council meeting he'll attend. We called neighboring Prairie Village. The city tells us it doesn't enforce codes that would restrict little free libraries.